Hello there, welcome to the June 2019 applied paper. Here we're looking at question three. A, a fair five-sided spinner has sides numbered one, two, three, four, and five. The spinner is spun once and the score on the side it lands on is recorded. Write down the name of the distribution that can be used to model the score on the of the side it lands on. Well, when you've got a number of different events and the probability of each event is the same because it says that the, the spinner is fair, so that means that each side will have a probability of one in five appearing, then what that's referred to as is a uniform distribution. It's very similar to rolling a dice. Rolling a dice, if you roll a fair dice, you've got six different outcomes. Each probability is one in six, so therefore... It's a uniform distribution. The probability is organised in a uniform manner. Moving on to uh, the next part. The spinner is spun 28 times. The random variable x uh, represents the number of times the spinner lands on the number 2. So what we're going to say here is that success is to land on 2, failure is to land on anything else. Part B, I, is find the probability that the spinner lands on two at least seven times. So that's seven or more. Seven or more. Okay, so uh, what we first need to state here is the type of distribution we're working with. X is binomially distributed with a number of trials of 28, where each trial has a success of landing on the number two of 0.2. That's a 1 in 5. So now what we need to work out is the probability of x being greater than or equal to 7. So that's uh, seven, 7 times landing on a 2, 8 times landing on a 2, 9 times landing on a 2, anything up to 28 times landing on a 2. Now what we have in our calculator is a binomial CD mode. Let's just go to on the calculator, uh, go to mode 7. Scroll down once and you go to binomial CD. Now what binomial CD calculates for us is the probability for a certain number of successes or fewer than that. But this is the complete reverse question. This is seven successes or more. So we need to flip the question round the other way. And I'm going to now calculate one minus the probability of x being less than or equal to six. What this, is, what this bit here is going to work out is the probability of six successes, six successful lands on a two or fewer. Then once I've worked that out using the binomial CD mode, I'll work out the rest of the probability that will add it to one, because that will give us the remaining probability of scoring uh, a two on a dice seven or more times. So I'll hit one to select the binomial CD mode. And it's going to be a variable option. I want to work out the probability of six or fewer successes out of 28 when the probability is 0 0.2. And I get an answer there of uh, 0.678. Now the most accurate way of doing this 1 minus calculation would be now to store this value as a in the calculator. So what you've got to do here is you've got to press the store button above 7, store, and then straight away hit the button above it to select A. You don't need to press alpha A yet, that's when you recall it. You just press store and then the, and then the button that has the red A in it, and that will store the value as A. Go back to your normal calculator mode and do 1 minus alpha A. Now you do need to select the red button alpha at the top to select A, and that's to three significant figures is 0 0.322. So there we are, that's the answer for part I. Moving on to part II, find the probability that we have a number of successes that is greater than or equal to four, but less than eight. So what I'm going to do here is, uh, what I could do, I could do it in two different ways. I could either work out the probability of scoring 4, scoring 5, scoring 6 exactly, scoring 7 exactly, and add all those four values together. Or, I'm going to do the probability of less than or equal to 7. Now what that will work out is the uh, total probability of scoring fewer than or equal to 7 rolls of a 2 on a dice. But so, so it's not going to include 8. So it's not got an equal to on the 8 symbol, so it's less than or equal to 7. But then I'm going to subtract the probability of x being less than or equal to 3. 
Now, what that's going to leave us with is I've worked out the probability of scoring, uh, uh, rolling the, sorry, spinning the number two, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, or zero times. And then when I do the subtraction, I'm just going to subtract this bit here. And that will leave me with the probability of scoring seven, six, five, or four uh, times of scoring a two on the dice. So this is going to be, let's go back to the binomial CD mode, uh, 7, 28, 0 0.2. That's going to give us a value of 0 0.81182. This is the probability of scoring a two on a two on a spinner seven or fewer times. Take away the probability of, now I've got to do three, I'll store this as B in my calculator because that will be helpful later. Now I've got to subtract the probability of scoring a two on a dice, two on the spinner, three or fewer times, and that's going to give me an answer of 0 0.1602 to four significant figures, um, and I'll store that value as C on my calculator. And when I do the subtraction of these two values, it will leave me with the probability of scoring in between four to seven successes. So I would now I'll go back to the main mode on my calculator and do B take away C, and I'll get 0 0.658 when I round to three significant figures, to three significant figures. And there we are, that's the answer for this question here, worth uh, six marks in total for question three, Let's now move on to question four.